Hi everybody, it's James and welcome back to the Swifts. So, I said we'd come back on the first day of the season. Well, here we are, first day of the season. I'd also tell you, let, let you know how we did in the cup. Well, as you can see, we beat Fife as you were here for last time, and then we beat Wraith 3-0, which means we didn't top our group, but we were one of the best second place groups. So we went through in the, cup, the Bedford Cup. Which is awesome. Which isn't awesome is we have Hibernin Her in the Premiership. Fourth place Premiership Hibernin last year. Which isn't as cool. But you want to know what? We were told not to make fools of ourselves, so we're not going to. In the SPEL trophy, we have St. Mirren's Reserves. So we get to try and get a little revenge on them. And we haven't even gotten into the Scottish Cup yet. So there's a little preview of everything. But today, today, we're going to be playing against Full Far in the starter account in the league, along with, drumroll please, talking about one more transfer in. We brought Lillian Farrell in from Rangers, who just looks like a beast. Opposes the manager. Why does he oppose me? That's very strange. Anyhow, let's talk about how we have the team set up. Farrell, Spence, Richardson, Gentry, Babaco, McAllister, Bateman, Cable, Quan Min, and Lewis with CC on the bench. Gill, Ngoye, Hall, Derhunis, Williams, Wheeland, and Birchall make up the team. And if you're ready, we're going to start the game now. Right. So like I said, submit the team. Let's get into the match. Now, there's, um, there's a thought process behind the team we have. Williams may be a better defensive midfielder, but I like McAllister just because he's more... He brings that more grit into the, uh, into the, into the team. Um, obviously, Lewis is our natural right back. Bateman is the natural left back. Cable and Kwang Hong Min are just formed a good partnership. Uh, though our new boy seems to be a better center back. Bateman in dispense. Already showing some teeth here early on, early days. Kwang Ha Min, who, by the way, had got um, good to take place in the uh, Asian Games. Ooh, as that goes just wide. Uh, yeah, he got uh, his first five starts in the Asian Games, so he's now a full international as is our boy from, was it Durst? From the uh, Faroe Islands. Also got his call up in his first five starts. So we have two full-bledged internationals. Now, you would say, oh, but James, they're not internationals from major countries. No, but they're still internationals, and there's something to be said for that. As CC does a great job to claim that one. He's going to pick up Richardson. He is. He finds Farrell. He's going to take it on himself, and... Um, I mean, it's a shot on target. It's a pretty tame shot. Didn't really have much XG behind it, but a shot nonetheless. As we're kind of getting our way into this game, we are expected to finish top of the league, though the board has only directed me to finish... Whoa. Okay. To... <laughs> um, that goal surprised the hell out of me. To finish in the playoffs. So we have the ability to do a lot better as Babaco... It just misses everybody, and Farrell is like there at the back post. Which, why do you keep a striker there at the back post? And he just slots it home. To put his 1-0 up, and top of the league, top of the league, top of the league, but you never see that. Here we go again. Bateman finds Farrell. Ooh, boy. Never like to see those guys go to ground. Cable will collect. McAllister, Gentry on it now. McAllister... Good hold up play by McAllister. Babaco finds Lewis into Babaco. Gentry, ah, oh, one too many touches. He should have just put his laces through that thing one time. First time, I should say. Babaco, Spence pulls it just wide, but that's all right. By the way, we're playing in a league now that we're starting to see some professional teams. I think Ardile is professional. No. 
There are some professional teams here. By the way, Edinburgh City, a oh, Raithus, Raithus professional. Edinburgh City is um, in our league now too, so we get to play against them a lot. And we've already played against them twice already so far, and we haven't been in the league with them. Now we get to play against them four times since we're in the same league as them. As right now, the only thing that stands between us and Fofar is the feral goal of the set piece. Which doesn't fill me with a bunch of confidence, but at the same time, it's our first, like, league game. Didn't mean to say that. I hate it when I do that. Now the defense is upset. Okay. All right, now they're just, like... Unmotivated, uninspired. Can we like get inspired? Yeah, it just just neutral. I'll take neutral. Neutral would be nice, guys. Come on. Or if we can just hold this, it'd be fine too. Alright, at the 65th minute, we'll make some changes. As Lewis is not having the best game. McAllister has picked up a booking. You don't like to see that from your uh, ball-winning midfielder. All right. This is good enough time, is any. So, McAllister will get replaced by Williams. Lewis by Hall. And then we're going to take Gentry out, and we're going to bring in uh, Dewhurst. As the box to box. And they come in right around the 65th minute, which works perfectly for me. Let's just keep going, guys. I mean, a 1 0 win is still a win. So that's not something to shake your hat at, for sure. I mean, we'll take a victory. I don't care what the what the size of it is. Besides, we are still looking at bringing some players in. We're not the, at the end of the transfer window, ends at the end of this month. So we still have plenty of time to bring in some more people. I don't know what positions we're going to strengthen. The only thing I can think of is maybe midfield. Um, only because of, you know, we have Gentry and we have Dewhurst, who are both great, but bringing in somebody who can be more offensively minded as a midfielder might work. As Dewhurst showing why he's a going to be a great kind of box-to-box -box midfielder slash defensive midfielder cover for us. As Richardson... Farrell has a wonderful pass, and Richardson just doing what Richardson does, running behind the defense and scoring goals. Dewhurst find, found Farrell. Farrell easily finds Richardson onside, and he just one-touches it into the back of the net. Mm. I am not worried about this strike force this year. I think we probably have the three best strikers in the league. Cable finds Quan Hong Min, gets it to Hall. Who's going to break down here? Finds Spence. Spence to Farrell. Farrell for his second. Farrell has an assist. Richardson has a goal. Spence has assist. Farrell has two goals. The nice play by Hall and Spence. Great distribution there. Not, I mean, you know, not to take it away from Farrell. Farrell had a difficult, that was a difficult shot for sure. But, mm. Now it puts us even on points for goal difference. Once the league table decides it wants to update. Unless it's telling me something here. Better not be telling me something here. As Williams has a yellow card. God, the yellow at that position. Babako gets there. That's the other problem. See, like, Babako is great, and he does a lot for the team, but he tires real fast. So getting another guy who could play in midfield and play with Zala would be good. Unless I've got somebody like that on the team. I might. Skinner might be able to play that. We have to call Skinner back up. Look at this. Uh, oh, hey, hey. Hillville Swiss, Hammer, Full Fire. Total domination. Flynn Farrell gave his close range average and advanced for Tom Richards. Doubled with an accurate finish. That 
They had a good grand popular manager, James Atkins, and joined it. they has been now in charge for three years. Three years into the project. Uh, he was superb. He's extremely happy. Does this guy still have, like, the happiness issue? Ooh. No interest in joining the club yet, but he's not deep red. This guy is not long trots. He looks good. How Rangers is letting us have I mean, I know why Rangers is letting us have because we're paying him 400 and <laughs> paying him, what, 450 pounds? I mean, is our most expensive player by far. He is more than a quarter of our wage bill. But I think he's going to be able to also, like, this strike force is insane. Also, we also have to look at his time where Spence currently has a contract going to the end of the year. Not the end of the season. So we can look to bring it back. But at the same time, if he doesn't come back, Farrell's already there. And we've already got a good team stacked up here together. So, James, you're going to ask, when do you when do we come back? I mean, St. Mirren... In Hibberton Reserve, St. Mirren Reserves in Hibberton Double Header Cup time. Could be fun. Sounds like fun. I think that's what we'll do. So until then, I've been James. You've been you. This has been the Swifts. And it's not how good you are, it's how good you want to be. See you in the next one, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>